how to maintain a marriage relationship. Today, in this particular video, we're going to discuss about some things we need to do, some factors that we need to consider in order to make sure that we maintain our marriage relationship. Now, what are the tips for a better marriage? Now, listen carefully and make sure you watch this video to the end. Now, one of the tips is keeping your romantic alive. There are some people that don't know how to be romantic. That in fact, they are not even romantic at all and they don't want to learn how to be romantic. So, but if you are not romantic in the relationship or your marriage, that marriage or that relationship will not be alive. It must be alive. So you have to, you know, add some, some spices to your love, to your marriage, to your relationship. So that's why you need to be romantic. If you don't have to be romantic, you can learn it. Yes, it's just an art. So if you are romantic, it's going to help to maintain a marriage relationship. Now, secondly, you will need to spend good, I mean, good quality, I mean, quality time together. There are a lot of people that doesn't spend time with their marriage mate. They don't like it. Some feel ashamed to spend time with their wife or, or with their husband. Why are you ashamed of spending time with them? So if you are not spending good time with your mate, there's no way you can maintain your marriage relationship. Yes. So remember, take note of all these things I mentioned. I've talked about the first one, that is, you know, making your romantic alive. And the second one, spending quality time. Now, the third one is having an effective communication. Very much important in marriage or in a relationship. If you are not having a communication in a marriage or relationship, it's going to be hard. Yes. So if you don't have a communication line, it's going to be a problem. You see, in marriage, there must be a communication line that you connect from the wife to the husband. So you need to keep the line open and flowing. If there's any way the line is disconnected or diverted, that means your attention is divided. And you might probably might not be getting the attention you need from your husband or that the attention you need from your, from, your, from your wife. So if the communication line is not open, then it will be diverted to somewhere else. And that is where you start suspecting your husband or suspecting your wife because no communication is, is coming from their own ends. So to avoid suspecting your husband or your wife, keep that uh, communication line open. Because if you don't let it, uh, allow it to be open, someone else can take that position. Someone else can divide that communication and turn it into something else. So that is what you need to bear in mind. Now, next is making decision together. In marriage or in marriage life, you don't make decision yourself. Be you the man or the husband. Just like you want to, you want to buy a new house, you want to buy a new car, you want to buy this, you want to do that. You don't, you don't, you don't just jump, go to the market and start buying those things. No, discuss it with your husband, discuss it with your wife, and agree if those things are really what you need. You can go ahead. So that is discussion and having a decision all together. Now, supporting each other, that is normal. That support could be, a, you know. Or through monitoring, or through uh, kindness, or through doing some some house chores, or helping your wife at home, like washing plate, cooking, sweeping, taking care of the the, uh, the kids, and plenty of other ways that you can use to support. Yes. So, what about those your friend that tell you, bro, uh, you're washing at home, you are doing that, you're doing. They're only trying to help you disorganize your marriage or your family. Don't listen to them. What are the tools you need to have a successful marriage? Now, one of the two is you have to set a goal. If you don't have a goal, you will fail. Goal is a plan. What can you achieve or what do you intend to achieve? So make a goal, set a goal. And what else you need to do is to build a very strong foundation. To build a very strong foundation, make sure that you are legally married. If you are not legally married and you want to build a very strong foundation, it's not going to work. Strong foundation starts from legally married because you are rooted. A man will not just wake up one night and tell you, I'm done. I'm not marrying again. You know, he cannot do it. He cannot. Even if he does it, you know, easy for him. Yes. Because you still have the same right he has. Uh, if he didn't mind sharing the whole property, more than share, we'll come to that later. In terms of divorce, more, forget that part. So these are things you need to do. Then try to nurture your love. Love, they grow. Yes. If you nurture it, you nurture your love. You see that love, they grow like plant. Yes. So, but the kind of love you just suddenly see someone or you fall in love with someone, you start, you know, having this kind of 100% happiness day by day. You play, you laugh, you do things together, you know, you jump. You, that is, the love makes you 
feel that everything is perfect for you. That kind of love do not last. Those, those love are not nurtured. They are grabbed. I don't know if you're getting me. It's like you see someone, okay, you never knew her before. You just decided that I, I want to marry her. Suddenly so you start trying to love her. You start trying to create that love. You try to build that love. You struggle to love her. You nurture sure that love. You see that the love grew and become very strong, more than those people you are, are jealous in. So that's what you need to do. You have to nurture sure that love. Then make your marriage a priority. Make your marriage the number one thing. Not your friends, not your extended family, not your in laws, not your job. Your marriage should be the number one thing. Spend time together, no matter what. Enjoy things together. point and key. Enjoy it together. Listen to each other together when you talk, when you complain. Listen while the other person is talking. Enjoy your marriage together. Love together. Have fun together. And be very grateful to Kida.